We'll be getting our next match. Vivi coming up against House of 3000's Projo. Yes. Projo rocking that tune link as they tend to do. And Vivi trying ever so hard to not play a low tier is <laughs> going hey, with mid -tier. that. Mid tier. Mid tier, hey, mid tier, mid tier. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I regret it too. Lucario is a mid tier, don't at me. It is, uh, but it is still the Joker being mm -hmm. significantly higher than both of those two. And hey, they just won Waypoint off of this character. Uh, I don't believe they played anybody else. No, they did. They did. They they played against only only twice. They played Lucario once for a certain matchup, and they played Hero versus John Numbers because you have to play Hero versus John Numbers. Oh, yeah, you for gotta gain something off of the weight. So. Gotta get that balance Oofa Salerado combo going on. But right now, I did see the Joker uh, earlier in Waypoint Cafe against Zayn, and. Vivi is schmoovin' with Joker, as you can see right now. Zero to death on Projo. And I haven't actually seen Projo before. So I'm, I'm a little bit unfamiliar with the, with the player, but his tune link kinda go crazy. <laughs> yeah, Projo just dedicates himself to this character whenever they play, and they have that sort of, you know, the classic, uh, like, House 3000, that brawl mentality, mm -hmm. willing to wait it out and play a whole lot of neutral and just force a multitude of interactions. But Joker gains so much off of so many different styles of play mm -hmm. to where you can you can play the waiting game here. You can chip away at your opponent for, with these IHAs and as well as gunplay. You can try and come in and force pressure, force shield situations with some of the back air and down airs that Vivi's been going for. And then Arsene pops and you can go full rush down. Yeah, and then Arsene comes out and you're automatically disadvantaged. And that, it doesn't matter what state you are in. Arsene out for about like what 30 seconds give or take a little bit of chip damage going on uh, taking away Arsene's timer but Arsene faster stronger uh, live power Maybelline cover girl like absolutely <laughs> amazing like addition to Joker Yo, and Arsene you do hair too oh my god Arsene <laughs> <laughs> but right now again Vivi just kind of chilling with three stocks and eight percent Arsene is now inactive but slowly coming back over uh up, up the little you know timer thing the little meter. And Projo at 141%, a little bit struggling to take out this first, to, to clear out the stock from Vivi. Yeah, and that comes with Vivi's like, just experience mm -hmm. with characters like Hero and Lucario, where you don't have that flexibility of options sometimes, so you have to be patient and wait and block. Luca uh, Joker can have uh, the, the issue of being too flexible to the point where you overwhelm yourself. Vivi not getting overwhelmed in the corner, not getting overwhelmed with, with all of these items, playing to the character's mobility and doing it masterfully so as the second Arsene of the Astok is just about to pop and there it is. Yeah, again, Vivi absolutely just has been grinding this character just so he can have something, just so, you know, have a, a, a main alongside his uh, Lucario and Hero, just so he can kind of do those, those funky little matchups, kind of like Toon Link, where this is probably the best one of the three to kind of deal with Toon Link's like antics, you know, his speed, his sword, and of course his other projectiles as well. So right now we have Arsene almost going away by Arsene in like like two minutes and two seconds. But again, Vivi absolutely capitalizing that 85% on jo Projo and Vivi still chilling at three stocks. No Arsene though, goodbye Arsene, have a good one. Yeah, when you're able to uh, pop an Arsene and get 85% off of it, you're feeling pretty good about it overall. Feeling real these, good. These platform uh, resets, able to land on the platform and mess up Projo's uh, block timings. So incredibly effective as Projo, willing to wait on ledge and willing to play this ledge trapping game, but Vivi not being caught by any of it until that roll behind Gain, into the grab. Yep. Finally gained the first look of Vivi, but you know, Projo in a very precarious situation, you know, having to deal with Arsene, which is basically a second character at this point, okay? Ars having to deal with Arsene, having to deal with Joker's spring data in general, how much faster he is, the Eha, the and yeah, yeah. 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 in the back here, that's calm. And I want to I want to show off that last stock again. But mm -hmm. it could also have been the first stock if you want to, depending on the replay, you want to show Mr. Mr. Production Man because they both end the exact same way. We get to see Vivi go deep for that edge guard, and it's done very nicely because we're getting a position where Vivi can utilize what is so strong about Joker. You see him at the bottom of the screen. Yep. This fast fall speed of Joker combined with his normal speed, it's a mixture of acceleration that lets Joker put himself in a position with a remarkable amount of speed from one to the complete opposite. And that kind of stuff lets Joker be as effective as he is, not just based off of raw and damage output and frame data, though they have that too, 
It's all about the the movement, the sh movement, the, the mobility. Sh movement. Yeah, absolutely. If you you had to be able to use his characters to his fullest in order like, movement wise, because he can go all around the, all around all these platforms, all these stages, efficiently if you are able to you know do that and pass, and take the time to practice those movements that Joker has and those little you know those little clips he has. But right now, going over to Kalos, you know, a stage I also don't see very often counter pick to. But you know, I think a good choice for both characters. Gives Toon Lake a little bit more space to run around, not too much to hide in. And Joker as well, having a little bit more uh, jumping area kind of to do that more of that gunplay you were talking about earlier. Yeah, and we haven't even seen much of the crazy gun dashes coming out from Vivi playing this uh, slow as you tend to do against the plethora of items that can come out so uh, quickly from Toon Lake's side. Just using single shot, double shot, and then letting the... Letting the stance on the stage do the talking, letting the stage control be that man. But Projo on this side, on this dock, is really catching Vivi with all of these jumps and doing a lot of these very clean dash backs in order to make the stage control go in his advantage. As the down air comes out on the attempt to jump away from Vivi, it's not going to take the stock, but it's certainly going to send a message with that back but that throw. Backer, that back throw definitely going to take it though. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I think another thing about the stage in general is is uh, the fact that it's a pillar stage. So you know, no, like Joker's tether is much easier to to uh, follow rather than when he's kind of just hanging there for a little bit and then comes up. <laughs> so a little bit a little bit easier for Projo if he's able to capitalize on that uh, little advantage he gets from this uh, pillar stage. But right now, Vivi again, this kind of is a, a almost a oh my god, he, oh my god, I was about to say something so good about that, and then this has happened. This completely punishing. Um, the miss of Projo. As Eevee tries to poke yet further, still get some damage out, and the same situation happens again. The roll through gets right by uh, the spin attack coming out from Projo, but still having this lead and getting chipping away with some of these boomerang hits. But enough time has come off the clock that he gets Arsene a little bit earlier, a combination of the fact that uh, Vivi was down a stock for quite a little bit. Yeah, agreed. Now, Virgil has to be very careful with these platforms that are a little bit closer to the blast zone. And get, oh no, the, the counter coming back from the stage and completely destroying him with another back air. And now he's once again in a stock lead, 40% to his name. Projo once again has to kind of climb up and do a lot of the, the heavy work because our son is so determined. Now he's a little cursed with Iha and just has to really not let himself get comboed so much by BB right at the moment and not call on the ledges on this platform. The R set effect, it's just, mm -hmm. it happens so fast, and it, the stock blows up, the damage gets all in your face. But we have to see if Projo can make something happen here. Another Z drop bomb into forward air, but not falling for it, but Vivi ends up falling into that hitbox. Gets back to the top platform though, and that is why it's so good on this stage for characters that have that extra little bit of mobility, or just having that, those recovery mix-ups are so important. Projo going off stage, rising up B to catch the Arsene. Yeah, but one good DI and also Arsene just... Oh no. Okay, great. I thought the same was going to happen again. But, you know, right now Arsene is out at the at the moment. But on oh, a very short timer because he got, he got hit so many times. He depleted his, his uh, timer at the moment, at, right, at right now. But, again, Projo, very careful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love when that happens. We just, we just spot dodge and whip attacks and I love it. I absolutely love seeing the, the goodness of this, all this. But again, Tether... Not gonna be able to zip project bomb, but will it be able to not do a kill throw? All right, that's calm. Going for the down smash, covering platform, covering a roll in a uh, roll through that time was Projo, but just Vivi picking the right options, using that slender hurt box on Joker to get by so many spots and forcing Projo to whiff early before going in for the attack, whether it be a whiff crab or up smash in that case. But the up smash was early that time, punishing Vivi with the spot dodge and attack of his own. Trying to poke away, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, forward tail, getting uh, the roll on with that nice slice through. The hitbox is active really early, so you're able to catch a little bit behind Toon Link as well. Because this game is far from over if Projo continues to play as they do. Yeah, but, but right now, you know, Projo, 114%. And Arsene, you know, not quite out, but if he keeps racking up the damage on VV, Arsene's gonna come out a little bit too early, a little, a little faster than he's gonna be expecting. And it might just take out that, that, that last stock from him under his nose. But right now, the game that he's playing, playing a little bit more, a little more of a, uh, a defensive game, using his projectiles as much as he can, bomb and boomerang. And now here comes Arsene, here to finish it off just for Joker. Possibly some kind of ledge, tramp, ledge, camp here, uh, ledge uh, trap here. No. 
but he's definitely he's definitely pushing Brojo over to the edge of the stage. Over, oh no, don't. As the wall jump oh. delays after so long, but the forward tilt not gonna do it as Joker does, or the Arsene meter does run dry. 90% now, but back air one, two will close it out. Full hop into a landing back air, just something that Joker can repeat ad nauseum effectively, just over and over. And it was really good play from Projo to mitigate how effective Arsene was in the latter half of that game, but they still didn't have a consistent answer for Vivi's movement. No, yeah, Vivi's movement is really what is uh, like the main thing about Joker and like these this set we just watched, you know? Having Toon Link just does not have the same ability as Joker, uh, or you know, honestly, most characters don't, you know? He's able to Sorry. kind of move around around the platform however he wishes, and just like that, just rolling over and punishing with a force smash, you know? He can really do what he wants, and when Arsene is active, it's almost as though you're just, you're on that, again, I said it earlier, you're automatically in disadvantage, in my opinion, when Arsene's here, because he can rack up 80%, which he did earlier, so easily, and when he himself was already at a disadvantage. So it's just like, Vivi's Joker, the more, he, and this is only Vivi's Joker, what, only recently. He yep. hasn't made, he uh, hasn't made this character like alongside Hero and Lucario as often. So this is only the beginning of Vivi Joker, and we can only see where it goes. From uh, in the weeks coming up, now that we have Xeno back and Waypoint Ooh. and Brooklyn, yay! Hey.